Hey, you guys, welcome back. So we are back with the, what have you been calling this van tour video with colognes today. So this is actually my second time filming this video because here, let me tell you. First time I filmed it, my assistant was filming it and like, she didn't tell me my bangs were fucked up for the whole video. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but either way, I would watched it back and seriously, my hair was such a mess. I know it's so vain and hate me for it if you will, but I couldn't do it. I could not in good conscience upload that video and not end up feeling bad about it. So <laughs> that's my dog's howling. Oh my God. I was like, what is that noise? Okay. That is my other two dogs. It's Max and Lena. I'm sitting out in my driveway. I like just heard, I was like, I hear dogs. It's my dogs beautiful okay so let's get started because i've got a client to go to so i'm going to try to knock this out as fast as possible so this is going to be my colognes and leave-in conditioners okay starting off i've already shown you this this was in my conditioner video so i'm going to take that out and this one too this was also in conditioner video so you've seen it before okay don't get upset all right so i'm going to start with the colognes because they're closest to me uh the first three that we have these are all from the hydra senses line um, this one, the Forever Serenity is more of like an all natural kind of a vitamin store kind of smell. Not my favorite of the three, but not bad. Like there was somebody that told me one time that they bought it off of my recommendation that it smells like a vitamin store. And even though I said I didn't like that scent, they were like, that's the scent they liked. So they bought it off of that. So whatever, take it for what it is. That's, that's why I like doing it like this. Cause you know, it makes it easier for you guys to decide. Even if I, it's something I don't like, just because I doesn't, I don't like something by the way, doesn't mean it's bad. <laughs> like I'm not like the deciding factor on whether something is good or bad it's just this is like my preference and uh you know for people that like stuff like me then maybe if I say I don't like something maybe they'll realize they don't either but maybe like I said with the vitamin smell if you're something that likes the all natural kind of scent maybe that's the one for you but for me I like this one this is the forever bliss cologne this one smells like that fig and brown sugar from bath and body works back in the day you remember so good i really like this one but my only complaint is it doesn't smell like that in the coat long term i've tried it i've like doused my dogs in it hoping to smell like that for a while and it it changes scent on the cologne or changes scent on the coat over time on the cologne anyway okay so the next one is the forever care this is the newest one this one smells good but i noticed that on the coat long term it smells like very baby powder fresh like it's good but i'm not a baby powder fresh type of person so it's okay um i like it like i don't hate it but i probably won't repurchase that one but this one yes uh, the next thing I'm going to move this, this is actually leaving, so we'll be back. We'll be back to it. Don't worry. So the next two, these are actually my male scents. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Didn't even plan that. That worked out really well. Um, so these two are my male scents. I have forever. This is really hard and backwards. I don't know if it's backwards to you guys or not. It looks backwards to me. So forever VIP. Uh, this is like a very musky kind of cologne scent. It's nice, but it's very strong. Like I would not use probably either of these if you have somebody that's not about the smells. Both of these are very, very strong. Especially the, I would say the VIP is stronger than the winner. But um, yeah, so this one, like I said, very musky kind of scent. And this forever winner, again, I still stand by. I said bought in the unboxing video I did on this. I may not have done that on YouTube. It may be on Instagram. But I said when I opened this that it smelled like a Hollister model. Like, you know, like a, you know, those test strips in Hollister. You'd go in the store back in the day. It was like real dark. You'd find the little test strips over by the counter and you'd be smelling clone. That's what this smells like. Just like that it brings me back to Hollister days. So yeah. Um, and this one's probably my favorite male scent. I could definitely see myself buying more of this one, but I have so much cologne right now that I haven't thought about what I'm going to be buying cologne wise. Cause I actually even have, um, the VIP here this winter VIP. I have another big bottle of it. So either way, I have a lot. Um, now these two are based off of, let me grab there. They have conditioners that go with them. And I want to show you those too. Okay, so these are the conditioners that go with them. You know which one's which because they match. 
So the Forever Liss smells like the perf or the intense repair Liss. <laughs> not good at this. Intense Repair Perfect List Mask. <laughs> uh, smells like that. They smell identical. Um, this one's kind of nice. It's like, I don't know, it's really light, kind of, I wouldn't say fresh. It's more perfumey, more girl perfume kind of scent. It's nice. I like this one. It's probably my favorite out of the two. Um, they released these two at the same time, so I like the list better. But it's still not my favorite. I haven't gotten my favorite yet. And I actually am out of my favorite favorite, but we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Don't worry. Okay, so the next one is the Forever Velvety. It smells just like the Intense Repair Volumizing Mask. So if you really like these conditioners, that's why they made these so that you could pair them together. Um, again, I think this one smells good. I think it might actually be my least favorite, though. Like, it smells good, but I just like the other one so much better that I don't see myself repurchasing this one um it smells kind of perfumey but almost like little kid perfume to me personally just saying um it's it's just not my favorite scent but again it kind of makes me think of like what a little girl like you know how they have like scented things in like doll houses or something like that's kind of the vibe i get from this odd i know my descriptions usually are so apologize for that so my last two the one i'm gonna go ahead and talk about the one i don't have here we're gonna pretend i'm holding forever candy because that's my absolute favorite it's very sweet very candy like but it's just so fruity and nice it's just fantastic i adore it um and it's so good on either like boy or girl or whatever i i do like to use like boy scents and girl scents i guess it doesn't matter though but the forever candy you can just use on every dog i always get lots of compliments it just smells really really good um and then the yes this is the last hydra scent that i have this is the forever glow it smells just like the moisturizing shampoo the uh odor neutralizing the uh whitening shampoo it's that exact same scent i i really love that scent and it's so funny because i was listening to the groom pod the other day and the groom pod barbara bird and susie they were talking about that they thought this smelled like old lady hair salon I'm like <laughs> I don't know like maybe it does but I guess I like that old lady hair salon hold on let me see if I can get it I've been using something new so that's like I can smell it on me so much you know how you start using like a, like a different scent and that's like all you can smell so I'm kind of having trouble smelling these right now I just don't get old lady but I do get salon scent so I guess I could see where they're getting old lady from but that's always what I've thought is that there smells like luxurious like it makes me think of Kenra products or like maybe Redken but I'd say more Kenra if you don't know what Kenra is it's in those silver bottles that you see at the salons with the black lid that's Kenra I would say this smells a lot more like that but like I said, I could, I could get it. Like if an old lady, like if that, that shop had Kenra products, I could totally see uh, where they're getting that. But I like it. Okay, that's my favorite. So don't hate on it. That was mean. No, I'm just kidding. It, was, it made me laugh. I actually kind of bust out laughing at that one. <laughs> I was like, damn, I thought it smelled good. But that's what I mean is it's all perspective and opinion. But um, okay, so the next one I have is the Eye Groom Bliss. And funny story about this one. So they sent me a bottle of Bliss a while back and I liked it. I actually used it on myself for a while because it almost like kind of smells like fantasy by Britney Spears. I, I don't even know what I'm trying. I can literally only smell this new product I'm using. It's like literally, I don't know if it's just really strong or if it's because it's the new scent in the area that my nose hasn't adjusted to yet. I don't know. Um, but anyway, like I said, I get fantasy from Britney Spears kind of vibes. So like very girl perfume kind of vibes. Um, so they sent it to me. I've been using it on myself for a while. And then I just decided like, eh, I, my friend Mel was over one time and she talked about, she'd never used the eye groom colognes and whatever. She was just getting her van. I was like, van present for you, new van present for you have this bottle of cologne. So I gave that to her. And then literally like one of the next times I made an order from eye groom, they sent me another bottle of it. So, um, I have not even used this, uh, it doesn't smell bad. I just, I don't know. I like the Hydra ones. I think they last a lot longer. I don't think the eye room stuff lasts as long scent wise. Wow. That was like dominoes. Was that on camera? No, 
maybe a little bit of it. Yeah, I just knocked all that over, so don't mind me. Okay, so that's all I have cologne-wise. So let's jump into my finishing sprays. I'm gonna, okay, a lot of these are by iGroom, and as most of you know, I am not using iGroom anymore. They're no longer listing ingredients because of supply shortages, and they sold to a company called Nexus, and da 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 so, oh, and by the way, if you watched that video about the eye room situation, you know how I said at one point, I was like, I thought originally that it was Nexus, the hair corporation that bought them, but uh, then I heard that it wasn't, and then Barbara Bird said that it was. On the Groom, pa on the groom Pod podcast, Barbara did come back and say that it is not the hair company Nexus. So, I'm pretty sure that's the, the truth of it, but they've <laughs> gotten both, so I'm not really sure, but that seems to be the final truth, is that it is not Nexus, the hair company, it's a different company. It is the same company that Chris Christensen sold to, though. That was, a lot of you guys were saying, like, oh, Chris Christensen, they also sold to the same company, and they're having the same issues, so they stopped putting their full ingredient label on the bottle because they're having supply shortages, and they're having trouble getting some of these ingredients, okay? So, but regardless, I'm not using them anymore because I don't prefer the inconsistency consistency. <clears throat> that being said, <laughs> this is the texturizing spray from iGroom. I like this on like poodles, Yorkies, those kind of things. I'm going to be using up these products and not repurchase, but not because I think they're a bad product, but because of the inconsistencies. Does that make sense? So if you still, if you're cool with them not labeling and all that, then I do like this texturizing spray. Like I said, Yorkies, poodles, uh, schnauzers, anything with thin, fine hair that you need texture, this is your guy. The next thing I have is the Wonder Spray. This one's probably the most one I'm the most upset about replacing it because this has is an, is an unscented leave-in conditioner. It's just like your average, to me, your run-of-the-mill leave-in, like nice detangling or whatever, but that unscented is key. I have some people that hate scents and everything that I have, I'm a scent person. I love a scented. And this was like the one thing I could find that truly didn't smell like anything that my clients wouldn't complain about. One of you guys commented the other day that you were like, I don't like the scent thing. And I wanted to say the reason I do like the scent thing is because I don't want my client's dog to not smell amazing when they bring them back in. I want my client at the end of the night when they're cuddled up with their dog, I want it to smell good. <laughs> I can't get past the non-scented, like that stinky wet dog smell. I can't get past it. And like, I just... I think it makes the groom appear to last longer because it smells good. Does that make sense? I don't know. I, I don't want to step on anybody's toes and I understand fully. Like I know a lot of people are just truly very sensitive to the scent. Like they can't handle it. So I totally understand why you wouldn't, but I did want to clarify why I do. <laughs> like I'm not, I'm not a monster. I swear. I just like things to smell good. That's just me. So anyway, long story short, I wish that they were listing ingredients because I liked that spray. The next thing we have is another eye groom spray. Almost used it up. It's a scissoring spray. You can use this on wet or dry hair. Um, I use it same kind of dogs, like really anything you're scissoring. It works on all coats, I'd say. Um, and it's also supposed to, so blah, blah, blah. it's also supposed to be fast drying, and so is the Wonder Spray, by the way. And they do seem to help with that. Now, the last two things I'll probably have until I retire because I always forget to use products that you have to use on dry hair. And I'm sure you can use the, these on wet hair, but typically these, yeah, this says best use on dry hair. And this one doesn't say, but yeah, this one definitely says best use on dry hair. A lot of times aerosols are, that's just rule of thumb. Like not always, but that's what I've noticed is a lot of aerosols typically end up being for dry hair. So Anyway, um, my problem with these is just I forget to use these, but this one's a texturizing spray for like terrier type breeds, like if you need like your case, anything like that, if you need more texture with. Uh, and then this one is a glossed shine spray. When I remember to, I try to use this on like my cockers, uh, de-shed dogs, anything that could use a little extra shine to the coat. I'll use this, but again, I, I really actually don't ever remember remember to use these. So if I told you I use those on every groom, I'd totally be lying because I never remember to use those. Okay, so the 
I have another leave-in by Hydra. Um, this one I really like. For each of these colognes, they have like a matching leave-in. So I do actually, like I probably won't repurchase this scent. I'll probably do this one whenever I do repurchase. But again, this one's really nice. I like it on my D-shed dogs. I like it on short hair dogs. Anything that needs extra shine to the coat. I use this on wet hair, so I do remember to use it. I just don't remember the dry hair ones. It's like once they're out of the tub, products leave my head. I feel like I'm done. So, um... That's my only complaint with that is that, uh, like I said, I forget to use the dry stuff, but it's good. It's just, I forget to use it. But this, I love. I always get compliments. They, oh my gosh, my dog's so shiny. It smells good forever. It's really good. They're leave-in. It's called the Care Moisturizing Serum. So, there's that. And we have, last, we have the Jackson Daisy. I actually got this for my Shizu hammer whenever he had his skin infection um and it just has like the typical things like um the uh chlorhexidine and those kind of things in it and it's just supposed to help relieve the skin um it does seem to work fine you can see I haven't used a ton of it I would just use a little bit on hammer whenever I was doing his medicated baths but I keep it just in case like anytime I actually have a client or two that they bring me this shampoo so if they bring me the shampoo I'll use the leave-in but it's not like I wouldn't say like go buy this it's fine I wish it came in a smaller bottle because this is another one I'll probably have until I retire so Anyway, that's all I have. Uh, yeah. Okay, we've gone through all of the stuff, all of my bins at this point. So from here, we'll start on drawers and uh, all that stuff. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. Um, it seems like you guys are. I, I, I like showing you my stuff, so there's that. <laughs> anyway, I hope that you guys like this video, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.